Hello everyone, welcome to UI Brains and this is Naveen. Uh, in this HTML video series, uh, in the last class we discussed about the HTML uh, text formatting tags, right? So in this video we are going to discuss about the HTML list tags, okay? So what is HTML list tag? Generally, uh, in Word document we just write some items uh, in list format, right? Uh, suppose you want to display some colors. So we just write uh, point number one, red, point number two, blue, like that. We just list out, okay? Uh, or else uh, we just use some bullet points like dots uh, or circles or squares, like that. Or we can give some numbering system for each list item, right? Same concept in HTML. Uh, if you want to display these type of uh, list, if you want to any list of items you want to display or list of categories or any, any type of uh, information like this, you have to go for the HTML list tags, okay? So in HTML, they divide all the list items or the type of lists are categorized into two types, okay? So one is order list and one is unordered list, okay? Uh, what is ordered? What is unordered? Ordered means it's perfectly ordered, means uh, it's like one, two, three, four, or A, B, C, D, or uh, Roman numbers, uh, those things are called as ordered and these order lists will be represented with the tag called OL. OL stands for order list. And one more is there unordered list. What is unordered list is UL tag. Unordered means like a dots or circles or squares. So for those type of information, we go with unordered list. Okay. And in that we have to write the each list item. Okay. So complete list either unordered or ordered. In that each list item you have to write, that is a tag called li tag. So list item. Okay. So I just show you how to use them. So before we're going to start with, I just create a file, uh, right click new HTML 06 underscore HTML uh, unordered, unordered list. Okay. So let me change the title. So HTML. So un ordered list and okay fine so as i told unordered list uh, first let me open this in the browser let me close the text formatting and refresh yeah let me open the file first yeah unordered list fine so now as i told unordered list means it will display uh, like all the dots as like it's a square so, but how you represent the unordered list is UL tag. Okay. So I write UL tab enter. So if you say UL, you get some unordered list. Nothing has come because there is no list items involved here. If you want to write a list items, there is a tag called LI tab. You can just write LI and tab. I really shortcut. Just say LI tag, right? So just say LI tab. I got list item. Uh, in that I write something called HTML. Now what happened? See, HTML at display with the default some dots. Okay. So next line, I can just copy paste the previous line. So you can do a keep a cursor in the previous line and control D, D for Delhi. So just say this to a CSS. What happened to my keyboard? Okay. One second. Okay, CSS. Next, Control D. Uh, it is JavaScript. Uh, you can either write like this, or else I tell you the shortest way. Which so I write three list items. It display like this. I don't want to write uh, you know this much time on it. I write a shortcut way of writing it. Okay. So what is shortcut way? You want to write UL tag, right? So UL tab enter. Okay. So I want some file list items. So you can just say shortcut is you want file list items. L I star file tab. Okay. So these type of features are not available in your notepad or notepad plus plus. Okay. So you have to write everything from the scratch, but here you can just start using the editor advantage. Okay. Uh, fine. So now HTML. CSS and JavaScript and jQuery and something called Bootstrap. 
bootstrap. Okay, save it, go check. Okay, so I got HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery and bootstrap. Okay, fine. So this is how you write an order list in HTML. Okay, uh, one more thing. If you don't mention any type, actually you can mention a type. If you don't mention any type, it will display by default this type of dots. This is called as a disk. This dot is not called dot, it's called disk. Uh, if you want to change the type, there are actually four other types out there. You can use them. So how to change the type of this uh, disk or square or circle is for ul tag, you can say type, type, what type of another list you want. If I say disk, you get something called disk. So disk is by default. If you mention or not, disk will come. Uh, I just send this to something called circle. If I say circle, see all circles has come. Okay. Or else you go with something called square. If you say square, see you get all the squares. One more is there something called none. None means no circles, no dots, no squares. Okay. So by default, I say something called disk. So you get something like this. Uh, okay. That's about unordered list. Fine. But still, anyway, we don't compromise on this black and white story. We have to add some styles and looks and feel like a proper unordered list. Okay. Let me add some basic styles and then we'll continue with the other types. Okay. So how to add styles is you can go with uh, uh, style tag uh, ul. Okay. I want to change the font family. So font to family, Arial sans serif. Okay. And I want to give some background color. So background color, something called uh, some dark red. Oh, not looks good. Let's go for something called orange red. Fine. And uh, I want to add some nice box shadow. So let's add some box shadow zero zero some 10 pixels and black. Okay, I got some box shadow fine. But each list item I want some color. Uh, each list item means see here. If I say UL, all these styles applicable only for the UL tag. Now I want to add some styles specifically for the list item also. How to do that? See, the list item is called as the child element for the UL. So UL is a parent element, the parent tag, and LI is a child tag for that. So if you want to represent the child with respect to the parent, you can write like this UL space LI. If I say space LI, I want to apply the styles for the LI tag only, but which is the child of UL. Okay, you can write like this. So LI, what styles you want? I want to change some light background color. I say the background color light uh, salmon. Yes, got it. And let me give some gap uh, between each uh, HTML and all this. You can go with something called margin. Margin some five pixels so you can give a space inside. Okay, uh, but I have just zoom it. If you keep it back to 100% is like this, but it's not visible. One last thing is font family. I say uh, sorry font size some 35 pixels. Okay, something nice looks good. Okay, so this is about the ul tag in html okay and we also learn the various types of h uh, ul tags right let's do that as well so what you do this is just disk i want circle square and none as well so what you do is simply copy this ul and uh, paste it dude there's some problem with my keyboard okay paste it uh, this is something called square. So you got a square. Yes. And below this paste it. I go with something called circle. So I got some circles as well. And the lastly, I want something called none. So type none. You get something called none. Not, none means nothing. Okay. So this is about unordered list in the HTML. Okay, so disk, square, circle, and none. That's it. Okay, so enough for this uh, unordered list. And also we'll see the order list because same concept. So let me do the order list as well. But I'm not going to do with the same file. I go with the, some of the file. 
so let's close this go to your web stream and create a new uh, html you can just right click new html uh, 07 underscore ordered list okay oh html underscore huh? html underscore unorder or order list okay so you have to maintain one more thing you have to maintain the file names like this because uh, i saw many people they write uh, they don't follow the basic rules and uh, uh, rules of the uh, software industry you know in software industry you have to write the file names like this but i saw many students uh, i don't know why they write like because they write a dot html b dot html or one dot html two dot html three dot html what is that nonsense see we all have a name right a person have a name i might have a name navinian you have a name something file also name right that's a file name so if you write a dot html b dot html yes it works no problem but the problem is uh, after you finish all the tags if you write all the tags with a dot html b dot html like that one fine day once you finish all the html files i want to check which file belongs to what concept how you get to know a dot html we don't know what concept b dot html we don't know what concept okay so don't be so lazy uh, keep writing a proper names okay so which we can understand uh, by seeing the file name itself instead of opening the file and see what concept it is by seeing the file name itself we should understand what is this mean for okay so please maintain each uh, what you call uh, each uh, files with the file name okay uh, fine I hope this I wanted to tell you, but uh, your wish. But in company, it's must and should because one fine day your manager will call you and give left and right because they they won't uh, they won't allow you to write uh, these type of things because uh, you know this is a team. Not only you have to understand your code, your the complete team has to understand your code. And even once you resign from the company, in your place someone else will come and they have to understand what you have written. Okay, so now till now it is just very basic tags and all. But when you go with JavaScript and all, there are almost a thousand, two thousand lines code you have to write. So you should know which is belongs to what and variable names. It should be very careful. You have to declare. Okay, if you don't declare variables with a, or b, and function with m1, m2, that's nonsense. Okay, so you have to write a proper naming structure. And we discuss the rules and all uh, when you start with JavaScript and all. Okay, so please maintain a proper names for the files and even for the tags okay fine so now we'll see uh, one more thing called order list okay so let me change the title so html order list okay uh, let me open the file first let me refresh yeah open the file in the browser order list yeah so order list as i told the uh, ol tag just say ol tab enter and order list or unordered list, list item will be LA tag only. So I want li star phi tab. So phi, phi li, li. So I say again HTML, uh, CSS, and JavaScript, and uh, something bootstrap, and uh, something ReactJS. Okay, some items. So let's check. See. I got one, two, three, four, five. So five list items. I got some numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay, fine. So now here, see previously under the list we got disk or the dot as a default. So now here one, two, three, four as a default. You can change this. How to change? There are some other types are there. You want to change the type? You can say again uh, ol type one. If I say one or not by default one. I say a you get some a b c d i say capital a you get some capital a b c d you say something called small i you get some lowercase roman numbers you say capital i you get some uppercase roman numbers okay so like this there are some five types are there and let me go with the one that is one two three four okay fine so nothing much to explain here because we already seen this in a, another list but i want to apply some other styles for this content okay so go back to your head section write a style tag ol and what you write let me write some background color uh, something different i go with uh, any color uh, dark green color or something oh that looks good green okay let's go with the lime green 
yeah i got some lime green color yeah well and good now let me add some box shadow 0 0 same styles only only color change um black okay and let me change the the list items also and also font i forgot uh, the font font to family again comic sans ms comma sans serif you can do this one and uh, fine you can change some other something called casteller font okay but this not looks good it's a little ugly go with the comic sans ms yeah so i got some list items and let me give some extra margin for them so uh, that is what ol dude ol space l l i open close okay so list item in the child of uh, ol uh, let me give some background color what is that something called light uh, green color something okay uh, let me give some space that's the margin margin some five pixels okay fine so i have just zoom it so keep it back to 100 percent is like this let me give some uh, font size so don't know something happened yeah so the font size so go with 35 pixels go check yes i got some font size okay so this looks nice okay you want you can change some colors and all okay uh fine and also we'll see all the different types uh one two three four is there and uh, let me copy this and paste it i go with the type uh, a you get some a b c d and uh, paste i go with something called small i so i got some roman numbers and uh, i just paste something called capital i i go with the uh, capital roman numbers and some are went outside that's no problem because we have not learned that level of css till now so leave it and lastly you can even do with the capital a for uh, capital abcd okay fine so these are the five types about order lists okay fine so this is about the example on order list on an order list okay you can even write a nested list also uh, that you can have it right uh, okay so enough for this video and we're gonna meet very soon for the next video uh, for some next HTML tags okay thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you